All right, what's up? Welcome back to a video. Best so best I am doing right a Q and A. So I tried to house basically house ask me some house questions house when house I send it. Okay, second um, this send it. If it loads, we're playing East West Fest in um, This send it. Damn right. And I sent in a DVD of us my Instagram send it. So I'm be looking at the questions for all these send it. From both of these send it. And you want to just. Go from there. I'm gonna start with Instagram first because it's kind of short on Instagram, and, and it will kind of just speed through. So again, I still do my updates, and if I have any updates, I still do my updates in the beginning of videos. So, but I don't really have any updates. I'm just really glad to be back and be like active. And y'all should know how I did this makeup look, or at least some of it. I wasn't really here for all of it, but. But. Well, um, yeah. And my parents. <laughs> so we're gonna get to Instagram. I got these, and then I just got some that just got loaded in. Hold up. Hold up. Bam, bam. So yeah, these I already read, but the end there we got five more. So I'm gonna read the five more, and I'm kind of go back on the ones that I already like answered. That's okay. actually on my Instagram. So if you wanna go on my Instagram as well, then you could do that as well. But why? Your favorite place besides my house, probably like honestly anything that's outdoor. I just really love the nature, and I just really love going outside. So honestly, anything that's outdoor is perfect for me. To be specific, I guess like kind of any clothing stores like Room Twenty One, the mall, Walmart, Target, yeah, stuff like that. Those are probably my favorite places. If you mean like places that I've have visited, then probably Branson. Besides Jeff City, Kansas, and St. Louis, I would have to say like Branson, which is kind of different from any of the other ones I like visit. So yeah, I'll probably say that. Okay, the next question is, how old do you want to be when you when you get married? Honestly, I don't really, I don't think marriage is for me, just because I don't think I need like a paper or like a frame or any documents to tell me how much I love a person. Um, I think I could handle me and that person, me and my significant other can handle that by ourselves. Um, and I also don't want to spend like thousands of dollars for just like one thing that will last a day and it could most likely get ruined. So why do that? So I, that's kind of why I don't think like marriage is going to probably be for me because of that specific reason. I just don't think it'll be for me at all. That's great. Well, so yeah. Next question. Okay. Next question. If you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? So whoever is asked this, really good. I'll probably say like I used to be. I used to be like a big New York fan. Like I want to go there no matter what. But now that I'm thinking about it, New York is really not all that. So I might have to say like Las Vegas again, or or um. Was in Chicago on the train. Las Vegas, because that's honestly the only thing I have. So, the answer is Las Vegas. And if you see me taking long, I'm also responding to it on my Instagram, because that's what I also do as well. So, if you want to look on my Instagram for like clearer, better questions, then go ahead and look on there. Next question Netflix and sweats or go out with friends? See. Honestly, go out with friends because, like I said, I'm good. I'm a, I'm a sucker. I'm a slut for going outside. So go outside with friends. Well, go out with friends. Um, but also love me some Netflix. But I will honestly choose going out, period, or even going out with friends over Netflix any day, anytime. So. So yeah, for sure. Um. Talk Some of these I'm posting on my like close friends I think and I don't know okay. me to do that. So what Okay, what's your biggest insecurity? Honestly my biggest insecurity on my whole body is honestly just my stomach. 
That's honestly nothing else. I mean, yeah. I could probably wish for clear, clear skin, but I kind of do that on my own. Um, I, I can't do this in secret. And I know how to like do it, but I, I just kind of wish my stomach was like flatter. I was more like petite and, you know, stuff like that. That's kind of like my biggest insecurity. I've always been since I was like 12 or 11 at that moment, at this point. Uh, I wasn't really big at 11. Or like juicy like I am now. I was like more so thick. Um but um yeah, probably just my stomach, you know the uh but yeah, probably just like simple stuff like that, you know. Okay, so we're gonna go on the other send it and we're gonna see if people send it me anything on there. Cause it was mostly on Instagram that I think I got like the more send it's from, but we're gonna see. Okay, we got we got one. So this sent is wonderful because you're amazing, broski. <laughs> so that's not really a question, but thank you. Um <laughs> Okay, that wasn't really a question, but thanks. <laughs> Have you ever given a hickey? I never, well, I given one. Received one? Not telling. But, yeah. Um, the craziest pickup line you ever use. I don't use pickup lines. Okay, I got looks. So that's all I need. Your current cell phone wallpaper. Me on sitting in the lap. And... Just a picture of me in the background of my phone. Don't mind these games. I got like so much games. But yeah, that. Um. <laughs> okay. What kind of reality show would you appear in? To have to handle. Or Love and Hip Hop. Because I feel like I'm a. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. If you could already answer that, last person you text, my best friend Kendall, who I'm, whom I'm currently texting right now. So, okay, uh, let's see what else we have. What's your dream job? I got so many, and I know when I get older, I'm gonna have to pick between like at least like two of them. Um, but I have a feeling that I'm really gonna have three jobs when I'm older, so don't come for me. But it's okay, at least I'm making money. And plus, my socials. When I get older, I'm also trying to find a way to get paid from social medias. So, yeah, but anyways, uh, clothing designer, uh, therapist, um, counselor, therapist, yeah, same difference, honestly, I don't even know the difference, they both help you with your problems, so I don't know, um, uh, daycare assistant and my own business owner, so I have my own business, which most likely would be a makeup line, because, obviously, or a wig line, because, Obviously. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Who was your first kiss? Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I had my first kiss in like kindergarten, preschool or kindergarten. I was really young, and his name was Mark. But if we talking about like kind of like older recent kisses, I would probably say like 2000 and like 20, 2020, 2019. One of those, I had my first kiss. So yeah, well, my second kiss, but. <laughs> Um, can you show us a picture of Jackson <laughs> this was someone that I know and that like cause if y'all have my social medias I, that's literally someone I always talk about but I'm gonna show you a picture of him okay some of these I think the rest I think the two was silly but I'm gonna show you kind of like a, like a serious one but you can't really see his face so it's okay. I'm gonna show you this one. So this how he look, and then this like a hold up, and then this like a silly picture that he sent, and then this like a serious funny picture he sent. I don't know. I don't know really know. <laughs> so hold up. Can I just send me something? It was so cute. Hold up. Let's watch that. I'm gonna watch that in front of y'all real quick. Hold on, top of my She won't put these other pictures though, but anyway. <laughs>
I have to do this video where we was like in the mall or level up, but oh, for the cry. Anyways, back to the questions. Uh, someone said every future, every feature of mine is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, would you ever get a tattoo? Honestly, yes, but only one. Or I might just not get one at all because I'm not like a big like tattoo fan. And I know like 20 something year old people that don't have tattoos. Even like 50 year old people that don't have tattoos. So I don't know. I don't think, you know. But I don't know. If I ever get a tattoo, it would be of a rose. It would be either right here where my fake rose is at. <laughs> or like right here on my arm. So, you know, something cute, something simple. But if I do get a tattoo, it will only be one. Because no. You're the nicest friend I ever had. Thank you so much. I know who this is because the emoji. This person always uses emoji. Uh, my style. Your style is amazing. Thank you. What is your style? My style right now is more of like a summer comfortable vibe. So I'm trying to fit summer as a theme, but I'm also trying to be comfortable at the same time. It used to be cute and comfortable. I wear something cute, or I wear something comfortable, or I wear something both. If it's not none of those, I either give it away or just don't buy it at all. But right now, since it's summer, I'm more of a, like a summer type of cute, comfortable vibe going on. You know, something like that. <clears throat> Who's your crush? Okay, Jackson, but I kind of hate him right now. So, nobody at this moment anymore. But I kind of hate him right now. So, yeah. We don't claim him yet. Uh, well, again, we don't claim him again. Not right now. What's the strangest gift you ever received? A pencil. A two-sided pencil with, like, both ends sharpened. Like, if you, if you young, you, you know what I'm talking about. But it's, like, two sides were sharpened, and it's a pencil that my crush gave me. Why you may ask? I don't know. He just came up one day, said hey, gave me a hug, and gave me a damn pencil before I went to science class. Again, why you may ask? I don't know. That's still a question to this day. <laughs> okay, um, single? Very much so. Your favorite place already answered that. What's your dream job already answered that? One friend you're thankful for? My best friend Kendra that just made that beautiful video for me, Avi. Um, who was the last girl you texted? My best friend Kendall. Uh, what song describes your life right now? Mad World. If you know, you know. Everything okay? Not really, but I'm hanging in there. Um, a secret you kept for your parents? Honestly, I don't have no secrets that I kept for my parents. Now, secrets I kept for my friends? A lot. But no, do you ever did did you ever did you ever like school? Honestly, I did. It's funny because I like kind of didn't like school. Kind of didn't want to go when it was like the beginning, like a little bit in the middle of the school year, or when I got there, and then in the middle of the school year, and then when it was like literally like when we was like three months away from getting out of school, I ended up liking it, and now I wish I never left. So. Stay school, kids. And never say you don't like school. Because one day you will end up liking it. No matter if it takes you years, months, days. You will end up liking school. <laughs> you will. Trust me. Okay. Um. What would you plan if we were having a one night? I'm 14. I haven't even watched my video energy yet. And I'm really not with this abortion shit. I'm not even trying to have. I'm not even trying to do that anymore. Like, I it honestly wasn't a big fan of doing that anyways. Because, like, I don't know. I just hear people, like, first time. So, I know everybody first time different. But when you hear, like, the same thing, it's just like, oh, that's going to happen to you, boo. That's going to happen to you. And then it's like, you get a period, like, kind of like the same day or, like, the next day it starts. And then that's just, and then, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of that shit. I'm not, like sex obsessed or nothing or I'm not trying to do that any time soon but you know uh anyways have you said I loved you yet to whom I mean I said I loved you to like people some people 
but I don't mean it unless you're my family or Kendall, my best friend. Then I would mean it. But if you're like a friend and I said I loved you because you said you loved me, then I most likely did not mean it. Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> okay. Um, do you like your ex? You're very attractive. Thank you. I don't think so, but thank you. How old you want to be when you get married? I already answered that. Okay, so yeah, the rest I answered already. So yeah, that was the end. Uh, hope y'all liked it. I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>